Hey there everybody, PT Pop here with all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. And today I'm going to do a review of the U-Haul Contact Center Recruitment. It's a film four minute recruitment video for the company U-Haul for their contact center. And it was filmed in 2018. Ed O'Neill. <laughs> I didn't know Ed O'Neill was, he went from married with children to U-Haul. Right there. Ed O'Neill. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? And they're going to interview a roadside assistant representative. This is somebody that you would call and speak to if your U-Haul van breaks down while you're on the road with a U-Haul. And first notice, notice that a lot of these videos are four minutes in length. They're all designed that way because most people can't, can't. Well, it's, it's designed that way. They have a whole marketing department and advertising department that determines the length of this. And I would imagine that they've done research, psychological research to find out how long the video should be to capitalize on the attention span of the average human being these days. Here we go, we're gonna start this off with some real cool jazzy music. Hey. Do you have a busy schedule? I do. Hey, Need baby. extra income? You're gonna give me some cash, Looking baby? for an alternative to traditional I, office hours? I do, man, hey. Can you work up to 25 hours per I, week? I can, I'm your man, honey. Are you interested in working from home? I am, yes. Roadside assistance team members receive consecutive inbound calls from customers across the U.S. and Canada to help find quick solutions for any concerns that occur during a customer's move. Here's a day in the life of a roadside assistance team member. Now look at this intro here. They get the fancy jazzy music. Hey, baby. I'm going to seduce you to become a call center rep at you all, man. And... Look at look at the nice nice. I mean, this is nice graphics, nice editing. You know, it's it's all they make it look jazzy and fun. Hey, look, it's bright orange. You have nice cubicles, and they got the old guy, probably one of the original original U-Haul reps. But it's it's a nice presentation, honestly. I think it's pretty nice. Receive consecutive inbound calls from customers across the U.S. and Canada to help find quick solutions for any concerns that occur during a customer's move. Here's a day in the life of a roadside assistance team member. Look how they make everybody in the, in the graphics look so clean cut, focused, really intent on solving the customer's needs. I guess that's kind of true. It kind of is. This is probably all stock photography taken from a stock, stock shop somewhere on the internet. Hey. So when my shift starts, I'm ready to start taking. Hey, Ed O'Neill. <laughs> I didn't know Ed O'Neill was. He went from married with children to U-Haul. Right there. Ed O'Neill. Everybody. Ed O'Neill is now working for U-Haul, everyone. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? All right, Mr. O'Neill. He's one of us, my friends. I'll always watch Married with Children now. Couldn't stand that show. Now I watch it as an older man, and I'm married, and I get it. Okay, Mr. O'Neill, let's see what you has. His actually, his name is Dan. Dan, you might want to upgrade the glasses from 1982. And realizing, of course, there's a whole variety of calls you can get. The most there are a whole variety of calls you can get. <laughs> Common kinds are uh, flat tire or dead battery. You know, often customers, it's moving day. Things are hectic. They're stressed. They left the radio on. So what kind of calls do you think you're going to get at U-Haul? You're moving. Like I said for Cube Smart, it, you're moving, you're anxious, you're upset. You don't care what Ed O'Neill has to say over the phone. You're like, hey, Ed, get me what I want or shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> On or they left the lights on now they have a, a dead battery uh, they put the keys somewhere so they put the keys somewhere they put them right up their ass and they're mad at you because they somehow stuck their keys up their ass and forgot they're there <laughs> somebody else put the keys somewhere else and now nobody knows where the keys are so we this editing is really annoying isn't it they keep doing these um i can't remember what they're called their pushes, pushes and pulls or slides. Somewhere. Somebody else put the keys what? somewhere else and now nobody oh, knows where every the keys second. are. So one, we help one, them thousand, get a two, replacement one, key. We also get many oh. calls where oh, um, dizzy. You know, a dashboard light came on. A dashboard light came on, sir. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I'm in the middle of the Sahara Desert and I know what to do. I'm in the middle of the Sonoran Desert in Phoenix. 
and it, it worries them, so they call us. And, uh, they say, and we don't know what to tell them because we've only had two weeks of training. Hey, lady, lots of luck with that truck being broke down in the Sonoran Desert. You're on your own there, honey. They only told us what to do if you wanted to rent a bigger truck. Ooh. Time lapse of these fine people stuck in their cubicles. Nice cubicles if this is the real call center. I've never seen a call center like this. This is sweet. I know I'm making fun of Ed O'Neill there, but this looks like a nice call center. I love little glass cubicles. Looks like you have nice headsets, a clean, nice environment. Um, it looks pretty real to me. I don't know if these are actors or not, though. As an assistant manager with roadside assistance. Oh. What is this guy like 14 years old? He's an assistant manager. Okay. Uh, I enjoy working with agents as well as customers. Doesn't he look miserable? Look at the look in his eyes. He just looks like he wants to punch someone. Michael, I feel for you, dude. Hey, look over there, Ed. Ed, you're watching reruns of Married with Children there, Ed. It's not allowed on company time. When I was new, I went through the training like everybody does. I was so nervous. We can handle it. It's the same junk that you see in all these videos. If you're new in the workforce, first, second, third job, looking for a career, this is a great place. To it's a great place for a career. Oh, more of that crap. And I think he also says it's a great place for retirees. Start. There are folks that have worked here five years, 10 years. One gentleman has worked here 30 years. 30 is probably the guy sweeping the floors. If you like this kind of work, and I don't see how you couldn't. You don't see how I couldn't like this kind of work? <laughs> Let me tell you, Ed. Let me tell you, Mr. Um, Mr. Ed O'Neill. <laughs> I should make fun of the guy. It's a great place to be. Oh. At the same time, let me give a special shout out to the similar retired. Oh, he's giving a shout out to people my age. Hey, oh, let me let's know what you have to say there, Mr. Ed O'Neill. And the retired, if you got a little bit more free time on your hand than you were expecting, oh. supplement your income, this mm. is a great place for you. I believe it, says the man with glasses from 1982. <laughs> See, even, even the guy in the music is laughing. I mean, it's your straightforward four-minute recruitment video with the same old mumbo-jumbo garbage. They try to recruit people of all ages here because it, it sounds to me like it's a part-time job. It's meant for more of retirees or maybe kids going to school and things like that. I worked in the storage business for six months at SureGuard out in uh, Gilbert, Arizona. And it, was a, it wasn't too bad, but the problem with that one, it was all sales. It wasn't about helping people. It was about talking people into a bigger unit. If they wanted a small unit, you would say, oh, you need, you need the next size unit up. And, and your metrics are based off of your, you know, your phone personality, but also how many sales you got. This, this seems a little different. To learn more about U-Haul Contact Center job opportunities, Thanks. apply now at uhauljobs.com. All right. Thanks, honey. I'm sexist. I'm sorry. Well, that's bright, isn't that bright? Let's turn down the lights, honey. Let's get with it. Let's get jiggy with it. So that's U-Haul. I'm not quite certain what to make of that video. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward, pretty honest. I don't know if Ed O'Neill there is really an employee of U-Haul. He probably is. This movie, this film, uh, this video is 18, 19, 24 years old. Probably most of those people don't even work there now. It, you know, it's a straightforward video, but it's the same, it's the same type of sales pitch. Come here, it's fun. You're going to help people. You're going to feel good about helping and working with people. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know U-Haul. It did look, if that was really U-Haul's call center, it, it looks like a good place to work. It looks like a good, clean environment. I would imagine they get lots of calls from people because those some of those trucks on the road at U-Haul have been on the road for like a million years. But it looks like a good video. It looks like a good company. It's the same It's the same garbage, just a different format. A little bit more funky music, more jazzy, kind of a, to be more of the jazzy. Semi-retired crowd like myself here, brother. Isn't that something? Well... That's the contact center recruitment video from 2018 for the roadside assistant representatives. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up, the snooter, subscribe, which is going to be 
over here somewhere just punch the describe subscribe button and uh, i'll see you later have a good day bye would you like fries with that would you like fries with that